kind of an unusual way you open the door. You push the front of the door handle, then the back part sort of opens out so you can pull it open. And once you've pulled it open, you'll notice two interesting things about the doors. One is that they open interesting. When you open up the door, you look down, one of the first things you'll notice is there's a little keyhole on the floor. You reach your hand into this little cubby, you push a little button, and the door opens. A button you push, and that electronically opens the door. Also worth noting is that if the battery fails and you're trapped inside your Corvette, you can just pull a little manual door release on the floor, and that will manually open the door mechanically. And that way you won't have to worry about becoming trapped in your Z06. There's a keyhole there, but there's no door handle. Well, it turns out right above the keyhole, there's a little vertical black strip. You pull it, and the door opens, which makes sense after it's been explained to you. It's at the top of the door pocket, hidden, unlabeled, and it's this weird sharp lever. You have to know exactly where it is, and then you pull it, and the door opens. Now to open them, you stick your hand into sort of this little divot right behind the door back here. There's a little latch underneath there. If you get in, you pull on it, and then the door opens right up, and when it opens up, this is how it looks. And then you pull it, and then it opens up the door, and then you can climb out. Now, if you want to close the door when you're inside the car, there's this large handle. You pull that, and the door closes. The i8 has cool car doors. They open up like this. And you got to admit, that looks pretty cool. Now, in order to open them, you stick your hand in sort of this hidden little cubby behind the door. There's a latch there, and then it pops open near the front of the door panel that you press, and it pops open the door, and then it sort of glides open so you can easily climb out. You just reach up, pull it as hard as you want. It's not going to come off, and the door closes actually pretty easily. Not as easy as a regular door, but easily enough. Pulling that, pushing that doesn't do anything. Don't touch it. Instead, if you want the doors to go up and down, you press this after unlocking it. And they pop right up. Don't push the handle or push down on the door or anything. I walk up, I push the silver thing, and the door retracts surprisingly quickly, and of course the window retracts too, and now I can step inside. You pull it and the door closes. And so now the door is closed, just like in any normal car. This looks like a regular old door handle. Walk up to it, and you can slide off the rear third of the door handle, and it reveals a hidden keyhole. Stick the key in, you can unlock the door, take the key back out, and it automatically slides closed to hide the keyhole and preserve the car's beautiful lines. Type your little code into the keypad. You get the code when you buy the truck, and then go off and do whatever it is that you want to do. When you're done, just come back, type the code back into the keypad, and then the door unlocks. So when you open the door, keep your eye down there. That's right, the running board extends so you can just step on it and climb right in. And when you shut the door, yep, which means that when you go to open the door, you just kind of pull it in the same motion as the door and it opens right up. I really love the fact that they stuck the door handle there. You're supposed to be able to just tap the door and it locks, but I really cannot get that to work. It works occasionally. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. Well, you walk up to the car with the key in your pocket and you push this little button on the door handle. It pops out and then you can pull it and open up the door. Now, when you're done, you want to lock it and walk away. Simply push the button again, the car locks, and the door handle goes back into the body. So, if you want, and then the door handles will pop pop out as if by magic. When you lock it on the key fob, same deal, they retreat back into the door. They do this. <laughs> that is just about the coolest thing you will ever see doors do. You press this little silver button located below the paint in this little carbon fiber area that's sort of out of direct sight. You push it, and the first thing that happens is if the windows are up, they roll down a little bit. Now, the reason they do that is because of what happens next. The door then, on its own, sort of moves forward and swings out, and the windows have gone down so they can fully clear. You pull on the door handle, then you kind of push up with your elbow, and the door does its own thing, and you let off, and there it is. Now it's open, and it's cool dihedral double helix. From there, you simply get out of the car. I, of course, make this process look very awkward but it isn't so bad, and then you're out. Opening them is pretty easy. You walk up to it, there's this silver thing protruding from the door, you push it, and then you just guide the door up the rest of the way. In order to unlock or lock the doors, you walk up to your Countach, looking all cool, and then you have to stick the key underneath the silver thing, which doesn't look very cool, and then you twist it and untwist it in order to lock or unlock, and then 
you can get in. And in order to open the door, you push the front part, which by the way, is also shaped like a hexagon, because of course it is. And then the back part comes out so you can open it, and then you pull it and the door is open. And so to unlock it, you just put your hand inside the hoop for the door handle, and then you can see when you pull on the door that the icon turns to unlocked. The keyhole is surprisingly high for a car. The door handle, you just do this, and you're in. Want to get out of the RX-7, you pull the door handle towards you, and that's how you open up the door. It isn't really that difficult. You kind of slide your hand underneath this section, the painted bit, and then there's a little rubber thing that you can press down here. That unlatches the door, and then it opens right up like you'd expect the door in a supercar to open. The actual door armrest, you pull it and push up, and then the door opens, but this is all electronic stuff. So it turns out you reach into the middle of the door behind the door panel, and there's a little black pad. Put your hand on it, pull, and then the door pops right open. And then you jump inside. Well, there isn't a standard door handle, but there is this electronic door pull. Pull it and then just push on the door and it opens right up. The harder part is actually closing the door. The close properly requires some force. Now, obviously, if the electronic door pull is walk up to the car and unlock the doors, the door handle pops out so that you can grab it and open up the gullwing door. If for some reason the door handle isn't popping out like you want it to, you can push this little button to the right of the door handle and then it will pop out so you can open the door. Now, of course, you kind of lean out of the seat. But once you do, you reach up, you pull the door down, and then it's closed. And so they did this. You have to push the back of it, and then it pops open the front part, and then you open it up. It's really not necessary, and frankly, a regular door handle would have been just fine for this car. And the grab handle, and you pull it up in order to open the door to let yourself out. Kind of an interesting quirk. To access it, you open the door, and then the panel is right here. You pop it open, and it is a toolkit. It's pretty simple. You press the unlock button, and then you reach into this little cubby where you find the door handle, and you open the door right up. But what here you'll see when they unlock as I walk up to it. Take a look. Walking up, owner's phone in my pocket. Mirror unfolds, and now the doors are unlocked, and I can get right in. There's no key that you use at any point when you're getting into this car. I'll simply give them the room key, and in order to unlock the car, they walk up to the side of it. You'll notice it's locked right now because the mirror is folded in. You put the room key here, mirror folds out, and now the car is unlocked. I get inside to open the door. You push the back of the door handle. The front part comes out, and you open it right up. It's actually pretty simple. You push it and the button unlatches the door and it also swings it open a couple of inches, then you have to do the work from there. Above the window switches, you pull it and then you manually unlatch the door in case the battery dies and the electronic buttons don't work. When you want to get in, you just pull the door handle and the door opens like a normal car door. But when you want to close the door, it is anything but normal. You put your finger here, you tap it, and then the door closes automatically so you don't have to expel any energy closing the door to your Cullinan.